I know there have been these uh, concerns about sanctuary cities. I don't think Congress has done much on them yet. Uh, I think the House has passed some stuff. I, my guess is the Senate isn't going to act on it. And uh, I know the administration is taking stronger action to at least to begin restricting money, uh, taxpayer money, from uh, cities and localities that promote sanctuary policies. Uh, and those are under challenge, I'm, I, I know, in the courts, in some places. But in the meantime, Judicial Watch does what we do. We do our independent litigation. And to that end, we've been pursuing the litigation uh, against San Francisco on behalf of a taxpayer, um, our client, Cynthia, uh, Cynthia Saletti. And there's a hearing on Monday about this case. So in California, taxpayers have the ability to challenge essentially illegal ex uh, expenditures for illegal activities by uh, government. And so we do type those types of lawsuits in places like California. And in this case, we challenged the sanctuary policy of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. You remember that's the policy in part that led to the death of, uh, the infamous death of Kate Steinle, the young woman who was killed at the famous San Francisco Wharf, I believe, uh, by an illegal alien released under the sanctuary policy. And so as you might imagine, the San Francisco Sheriff is fighting us in court, so we're fighting them back. And there's a court hearing on Monday. Our lawyers will be in attendance on behalf of our client. And, uh, and, and this is an important argument. And this is something you need to understand, that these cities and states are really acting outside the Constitution and outside federal law. And uh, all of our legal briefs are available on our website at judicialwatch.org. Uh, but uh, I'll just read an excerpt from the brief that we filed this past week. Sheriff Hennessy, the sheriff of San Francisco, his, her refusal to share basic information about the release of deportable criminal aliens in her custody, the date, time, and place of the scheduled release, plainly frustrates Congress's clear purpose in enacting the relevant law here. By refusing to share release information, Sheriff Hennessy allows deportable criminal aliens in her custody, aliens Congress plainly intended to be detained upon release from the custody of law enforcement agencies such as the San Francisco Sheriff's Department to escape federal immigration officials' grasp. Her restrictions enable aliens who have committed aggravated felonies or other crimes deemed sufficiently serious by Congress to warrant detaining them and denying them bond or conditional parole to remain at large pending removal. Not only might such persons pose a further danger to the community, which was one of Congress's main concerns, but federal immigration officials must spend additional time and resources and assume unnecessary risk to themselves, the aliens and others, locating and apprehending them. So this is the dirty little secret about sanctuary cities. They place law enforcement at risk, they place citizens at risk, and they place aliens at risk and even the criminal aliens they're pretending to protect. And it's outside the law. And uh, I, this is why it's great to work at Judicial Watch, and this is why we value your support, because we're able to make these arguments in a public forum and get accountability, at least get a chance for accountability with the courts. Now, I'm not naive. We can't win everything that we want before the courts. But these are the legal arguments that need to be made, and these are the public policy arguments that need to be made as well. Uh, because these sanctuary policy uh, cities, they think they're high and mighty morally, and they're, they're outlaws. And they place you at risk, and they place innocents at risk, and they place everyone at risk. Citizens, non-citizens, aliens, both legal and illegal. When you're an outlaw and you're the government, the whole community is placed at risk. And so uh, I'm happy we're pursuing this issue uh, in uh, California on Monday. We'll see what the court does. And uh, these court processes are always longer than you want them to be. And depending on the court rules, one side appeals. And so there's always a, an ongoing battle here. But we're, we're going to fight, and we're going to fight hard. Uh, and we're also obviously here in federal court in Washington, D.C. And we take on the federal government as well when it breaks the law. That's right, when it breaks the law. And the Trump administration, unfortunately, breaks the law repeatedly. On what issue? 
the Freedom of Information Act. So what happens is someone asks for records from an agency, they're required to give the records in a timely way, uh, and if they withhold the records improperly or refuse to respond, uh, they're breaking the law. And the way to enforce the law is to sue in federal court. And this is what we do hundreds of times under the Freedom of Information Act.